Hi friends, welcome to this question. So the question goes like this: A chemical reaction proceeds following the formula K is equal to this equation. Which of the following process with increase the rate of reaction? Right. So they have given. So this question is from chemical kinetics. Chemical kinetics. Chemical kinetics. Right. So what is this chemical kinetics? This is a chapter in which at the last you will uh, read about Arrhenius equation. Right. So there we will see this equation K is equal to P into Z e raised to minus e a upon what R T. Right. Here e a is activation energy, R is a uh, gas constant, T is a temperature, P is a constant, Z is a constant, e exponential function you know, and K is what rate constant. Rate constant. Right. So they have told that what they have. told they have asked the question which of the following process will increase the rate of the reaction right we know that rate of the reaction is that proportional to uh, concentration of the reactant right if we have a reactant and uh, if order is n the n is the order of the reaction right so rate of reaction r is stands for what rate of reaction so to remove this proportional constant what we do rate is equal to k into concentration of a to the power n so r is what rate of reaction k is what rate constant rate constant and we know that as k increases rate of the reaction also increases right so we have to see wherever rate increases rate constant k also increases if we know this basic uh, phenomena then we can easily answer this question so which of the following equation will increase the rate of the reaction right so let me write the equation again K rate constant is nothing but Z sorry P into Z into E to the power E A upon R T, and we know that rate increases if here see if this it is the reactant A, and this is the product P, and this is what activation energy, this and this this is what excitation energy excited state, so in between that it is what activation energy, activation energy. smaller the activation energy greater the number of reactant will be converted to what product because height is less right so see if height is less easily the reactant will be converting into product if height is more then it has to jump to this height to get this product right so greater the ea rate of reaction will be less so rate constant will be less smaller the ea greater the rate of reaction greater the rate constant right so if you know this thing we have to check it whether uh, ea is less or small so they have told that question is which of the following process will increase the rate of reaction rate of reaction hg increase it should increase the rate of reaction so if rate of reaction should be increasing it means what it should have lower ea it should have what lower ea so lower ea means it will increase the rate of the reaction lower p i have told p is a constant so lower p higher p it doesn't matter lower z it also doesn't matter because z is a what both p and z are what constants constants so uh, temperature if temperature increases if temperature increases what happens minus ea minus ea means overall it is like if temperature increases Uh, the the rate of reaction also increases because it is in uh, denominator and it is having negative sign. So if temperature increases, rate of reaction increases, hence rate constant increases. Similarly, if E A increases, if E A increases, since it is minus E, so what happens as E A increases, this rate of the constant reaction decreases. I have told the activation energy and the graph we know know that smaller the E A, smaller the A, rate of the reaction will be more, rate constant will be more. so answer for this answer is a so uh, option p c d r wrong options thank you